Uh, hello hello guys uh, this is gift pozegana uh, welcome back to our youtube channel please don't forget to subscribe share comment down below and like our video uh, if you like so as i say guys that you must keep on sharing more about the channel uh, tell others uh, about this channel so that they can watch and uh, have more information with regards to different courses that are offered at university uh, we have a, a guest here today. Can you introduce yourself? Um, hi, everyone. My name is Jimmy with one M. Yeah, okay. You are Jimmy. So what are you studying? I'm studying CTA currently, also known as PGDA, which is basically the, um, the postgraduate um, follow-up once you've completed your Bachelor of Accounting Sciences or you've com completed your BCTA if you did a BCom in accounting. Yeah. Oh. And we, yeah. Oh. So you, you, you started with accounting science? Yes, yes. So you do accounting science for three years and then you do your PGDA or CTA. I'll just say CTA from now because it can be a lot quicker. Oh, so you are in your honors now? Yeah, I mean, oh, it's, okay. it's, it's hard to explain. So we basically have an honors program within our postgraduate program. So the C CTA on its own is not, is not honors. It's just a postgraduate program. And then while doing CTA, you can choose to do your honors as well. You see, so it's like it's a separate thing that you choose to do. So for us, it's it's honors, but it's not honors. It's 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 very weird. Yeah. Oh, you're doing C it's CTA. Yeah, CTA. CTA. Mm -hmm. PTA, CTA. Oh, PTA, CTA. Yeah. So why accounting? Why accounting? Um, I don't know. I guess um, if you like business and you business inclined, accounting is one of the best degrees you can do because if you understand finances and you understand um, how money works, it's a lot easier for you to run a business and keep a business running because um, if you own a puzzle shop but you don't know what a balance sheet is, you don't know what profit and loss is, you don't know what fixed expenses, I mean fixed costs are, what variable costs are, you're going to go bankrupt, you see. So I guess that's the power of accounting. Oh, oh. Uh, that's great, that's great. Yeah, so, yeah, you, 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 you did your undergrad here? Yes, yes. Sir. Oh, you did your undergrad here. So, okay. Uh, how was it to be an undergrad student now? Um, <clears throat> I mean, it's a bit weird. Um, hold on. So, for us, it's, it's really weird because um, first year is not that hard. Like, like comparatively first year is actually kind of easy you can mess around you can do whatever you want and you'll still pass like comfortably and then second year it's like it goes like exponent it becomes exponentially harder and it's, it's a lot to handle and then you think that that's tough and then third year comes and all you have is four majors well i mean it's four courses only but like it's four majors so all of them are hard and now it's even harder like it's even harder than how hard second year was and then and then when you get to cta then it's literally like a hundred times harder so i guess the experience of 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 doing undergrad and i guess postgrad i guess is that it's like it's not like a straight line graph like this it's like this that's how the difficulty goes up yeah, <laughs> yeah. okay that's great that's great so you're doing cta and uh, okay so where can i work if you, uh, you you like what are you planning to do you know and you can also explore more about the job opportunities that are available with this cta that you're doing now okay so i guess the nice thing about doing your cta is that oh yeah. oh yes 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 <laughs> um so the nice thing about doing cta is that there's very good job security um like the amount of the amount of money that goes into just recruiting cta students is a lot um, that's why um, accounting career fairs days are literally the biggest compared to other faculties because of um, the fact that um, I guess if you're going to do CTA, I guess this is something important I have to say. If you're doing CTA, you're doing it so you can become a chartered accountant. So that's a CASA. So the only way to become a chartered accountant is to do your three to do three years of articles. So that means you're working full time for three years at an auditing firm or whatever. That's a, that's something we can talk about a little bit later. But you work three years at a at a place that is SICA accredited, and then you write two board exams and then once you pass both board exams then you become a casa so with a lot of these companies um they have a rotation every three years every three years people are coming in and people are leaving so that's why there's always a job available especially if you pass your cta there's always a job available whether you go into audit or you go into public pet practice or you go into like a private company or excuse me whatever the case may be there's a huge demand for 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 
CTA graduates, and especially considering how hard it is, um, the demand is very high. Oh, that's great. That's great. Uh, yeah. So, what can you say to someone, uh, maybe a grade 12 learner, or even someone who's considering doing a CTA? What can you say to them? Okay. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Um, I think it's so hard to say because I think it's something that's very hard to do. It's not an easy thing to do. It's it's one of the hardest things you'll ever do in your life, right? So only if you really want it, you need to really want it or else you won't be able to make it. You need the determination to do it. You need, to a certain extent, you need some level of passion for it because if you don't have the passion for it, it's gonna, it's gonna crush you. It's gonna crush you. But if you have the passion, the determination and you're willing to work hard, if you're willing to sacrifice a lot of um, a lot of fun, a lot of whatever, you know, whatever you need to sacrifice, um, it will pay off in the end, you know, um, it will pay off in the end. Once you're a CASA, um, job security is really, you have really good job security. Of course, you're not perfect. You still have a lot to learn, but you are, you are, you could work, well, not anywhere and everywhere, but you kind of can work almost anywhere and everywhere because there is always a demand for CASAs, just as much as there is a demand for CTA graduates. Um, so I guess what I'd say to students in matric, you need to be willing to work hard. It's not something that's going to come easy. Um, like even smart people struggle. It's not something that, oh, geez, like, you know, no matter how smart you are, even you will struggle, you know, but it's all about having the determination to keep going. Okay. That's great. Yeah. It's all about having the determination, uh, to, uh, thank you so much for your time. Uh, we appreciate it. And let's hope guys uh, there who are watching us now who are considering doing uh, accounting you know more you can do more research on the website go to website to research more about accounting science and how to become a CSA. yeah we have some information here with someone who is on that route to become a CASA. so guys thank you so much for watching and um, uh, please don't forget to subscribe share comment down below and keep on telling others about the channel from me to you guys thank you so much mr bye bye guys thanks